Watch as the final inspector gets blown away by the jet stream during takeoff. It's a crucial, albeit perilous, job. But today, we're not talking about takeoffs, we're diving into stories of landings. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. In this episode, we've compiled a series of intense accidents during the landings of military aircraft and helicopters. So, without further ado, let's get started. The Lizard with a Tail Severed Landing on an aircraft carrier is always a perilous endeavor. And when it's during combat, with a pilot maneuvering a World War II-era aircraft, the risk multiplies. According to our records, such an incident occurred on March 30, 1944, aboard the American aircraft carrier Yorktown, CB-10. Ensign Robert Black, piloting the carrier-based fighter F-6F-3, deviated from the optimal trajectory and his right wing collided with a twin-barreled anti-aircraft gun. The impact literally tore off the rear section of the aircraft, and the cockpit with the pilot inside rotated on the deck. Doesn't it seem as if the fighter, like a lizard, shed its unnecessary tail to survive? This strategy worked. Despite the intense impact of the accident, the pilot survived and even managed to escape from the cockpit by himself. Truly fortunate, isn't it? Sparks Now, let's witness a spectacular emergency landing with a touch of special effects. This McDonnell Douglas F-15E Eagle is attempting to land using an arresting hook at the Royal Air Force Base in Lakenheath, Suffolk, United Kingdom. Do you see the hook under the fuselage? By engaging this hook with the arresting wire stretched across the runway, the aircraft can significantly reduce its braking distance. But at that moment, a dazzling array of sparks ignites, as if setting fire to a bundle of sparklers all at once. Speaking of sparks, Ian Simpson visited the Lake and Heath airfield in May 2023 to see planes and take a few photos, but even he couldn't help but notice the sparks. However, when Ian saw those sparks, he rushed to military personnel and informed them about an anomaly in the engine of a just-launched fighter jet. Subsequently, it was discovered that, indeed, one of the fighter jet's engines had suffered damage. American pilot Grant Thompson was promptly recalled to the base, and thanks to Ian's sharp observation and warning, there was time for him to express gratitude and even gift Ian his own patch as a token of appreciation. Landing without landing gear In the early days of aircraft carriers, planes were brought to a halt across the deck using ropes and arresting hooks stretched across the runway. Watching this biplane attempting to land on the deck highlights a flaw in that system. The positioning of the rope was such that the landing gear of the Curtis BF-2C Goshawk was literally torn off by the rope upon landing due to its height. Vertical Landing the vertical landing of the fifth-generation stealth fighter, the F-35B Lightning II, never fails to capture attention. However, a landing on December 15, 2022, at the Fort Worth military base in Texas, became an unforgettable memory for the pilot. During a certification test, the fighter bounced like a ball upon landing, but then tilted forward, causing the front landing gear strut to collapse. Subsequently, the aircraft spun out of control, leaving the pilot with no choice but to eject from the seat. The pilot successfully executed the ejection and escaped without serious injuries. NASA's Planned Accident Now, let's take a look at a place where intentional landing accidents are carried out to see what happens. This place is the NASA Langley Research Center located in Hampton, Virginia. Originally established for training astronauts for lunar landings, this center staff didn't lose their jobs after the moon missions ended. For instance, in 2013, researchers dropped a military helicopter fuselage from a height of about 9 meters to test new seatbelts and examine structural strength. In this crash test, 13 mannequins were placed inside and 40 cameras were used to capture the moment. Thud! 
However, even more dramatic was the intentionally crashed landing of a civilian Cessna 172 from a height of 30 meters, simulating an accident scenario. Now, how about witnessing the touchdown of this Boeing Starliner? Would you want to be on board for this experience? Double Trouble On May 16, 1963, a Douglas A3 Sky Warrior aircraft attempted to land but made contact with the deck of the Coral Sea aircraft carrier, resulting in the front landing gear collapsing. The pilot had no choice but to take off again and start a second approach. And there it goes. Watch as the detached wheel rolls off the deck and into the sea the moment the plane separates from the deck. What happens next? Pilot R. E. Morris calmly prepares for the second landing attempt. Of course, there's no front wheel. During this attempt, a nylon barricade is set up on the deck, ready to catch the aircraft in case of an emergency. And it all works out. No fires, no injuries. Why did the streetlights fall? Helicopters are amazing vehicles that can land just about anywhere, even on city streets. Such an event occurred on July 15, 2021 in Bucharest. At that time, Six Black Hawk helicopters were rehearsing for an air show performance for the Romanian Air Force Day. During the test flight, one of the helicopters experienced a technical issue, leading to a sudden descent over the road and ultimately landing on a roundabout. Fortunately, no one, including the pilots and locals driving nearby, was harmed in this accident. However, the emergency landing was captured from various angles. Just watch as two streetlights are knocked down. Why do you think these two streetlights fell while the others remained unaffected and steady? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. The Accident That Became a Fake While aircraft landings on aircraft carriers are often recorded, not all accidents are made public. Unless, of course, someone decides to leak it on the internet. For instance, this was the case with an accident that occurred on January 24, 2022 involving an F-35C Lightning II fighter jet landing on the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier. The pilot attempted a flying technique called Sierra Hotel or Sit Hot for the first time in their flying experience. Unfortunately, the maneuver didn't go smoothly and the autopilot also failed to engage. The landing gear broke and the expensive aircraft ended up in the sea. Though this was a case of pilot error leading to the accident, Luckily, no casualties occurred. The aircraft that ended up outside the deck was recovered and sent for repairs. Interestingly, based on this incident, a Russian website published a fake article. The content claimed something like, World's first female pilot of F-35 fighter crashes on maiden flight. By the time the accident happened, it had been five years since Colonel Christine May had retired, so she couldn't have been in the cockpit of the F-35C. Furthermore, during her military service, she was a pilot in the Army, not the Navy. Please don't believe such fake articles, even if you come across them. Faster, Higher, Stronger On May 14, 2009, two Harrier GR-9 attack jets were returning to the Kandahar Air Base in Afghanistan after completing a combat mission when an alert sounded, warning them of a potential attack from ground-based anti-aircraft missile systems. The accompanying aircraft, running low on fuel, released flares and landed first on the airfield. Following suit, Royal Air Force pilot Martin Pert attempted to land, but his approach was too short and he found himself descending from a height two kilometers higher than usual. Martin attempted to accelerate and initiate a go-around for a second landing attempt, but his tail snagged on the ground, causing the aircraft to catch fire. The jet gliding along the runway turned into a massive bomb. This was because it still carried its ammunition and external fuel tanks. As a result, Martin tried to stay in the cockpit as long as possible and steer the burning aircraft away from other parked planes. However, the fire had already reached the cockpit and it was time to use the ejection seat. Martin catapulted into the sky, deploying his parachute smoothly and descending gracefully the parachute opened just meters above the ground. The Martin Baker ejection seed adhered to the one famous Olympic motto, faster, higher, stronger, as it functioned flawlessly, 
allowing the pilot to survive even after such a hard landing. Moreover, he returned to flying and currently leads the Royal Air Force's aerobatic team, the Red Arrows. It's truly a happy ending. And now, we're approaching the end of our video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it on your social media. To all our subscribers, we truly appreciate your ongoing support. Stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way soon. Until then, let's meet again very soon. Goodbye!